I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Hear ye, hear ye! Black Panther ascends to the throne on February 16th when director Ryan Coogler will make his Afro-futurist-inspired contribution to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Chadwick Boseman, who's previously played such iconic men as Jackie Robinson and James Brown, is reprising his role as Prince T'Challa. After the events of Captain America's Civil War, he's now King of Wakanda and thwarting off threats at home and abroad. And that's all before Thanos rears his big, ugly purple head. Black Panther is the first spin-off for the Marvel character, but as with all things in the MCU, he's already carrying a lot of baggage. But don't worry, the AV Club is here to break it down for you. Created in 1966 by Marvel masterminds Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, Black Panther made his first appearance in Fantastic Four issue 52. But due to fears of the political implications of having a character seemingly named after the Black revolutionaries in the Black Panther Party, T'Challa's superhero alter ego was briefly renamed Black Leopard. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? The character quickly moved from Fantastic Four's second stringer to full-fledged Avenger in 1968, where again, Marvel tried to disassociate from politics by calling the character The Panther. But regardless of his moniker, T'Challa has been Wakanda's greatest defender. Well, except for when he briefly teamed up with Daredevil in Hell's Kitchen. After donning the mantle of Black Panther in Civil War, T'Challa sought to avenge his father's death, siding with Iron Man against old Cap but he ultimately proved how suited he is to lead a whole country when he chose justice over revenge. Thanks to Bozeman's athletic and magnetic portrayal, anticipation for a solo Black Panther adventure rose to a fever pitch. The first trailer for the film racked 89 million views within 24 hours of its release. To call this film overdue is an understatement, not just for Black Panther fans, but for anyone looking for great representation on the big screen. So what's the movie about? The previews are almost as mysterious as Wakanda, which was introduced in the third Captain America movie. Black Panther's homeland is a technological marvel. It's more impressive to Martin Freeman's Everett Ross than even demigods dropping out of the sky, but it's apparently not immune to political unrest. The young king will take on a couple of pretenders to the throne, including Michael B. Jordan as Eric Killmonger, T'Challa's formidable, if obviously named, foe. This Wakandan exile has historically been more conservative than T'Challa, but he boasts a similarly badass suit. There's also M'Baku, played by Winston Duke, who's also known as Man-Ape in the comics, but who will not be referred to in that way at all in Coogler's film, for obvious reasons. His motivations aren't really known, though he is also nowhere near as progressive as T'Challa. Finally, there's Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis, who's more parasite than political rival. You might remember Claw from Age of Ultron, where he gained billions of dollars, but lost an arm. Okay, it's time to talk Dora Milaje, the elite royal guard of Wakanda. In the comics, these fierce warriors were also potential wives for T'Challa. We met a few members in Civil War, but The Walking Dead's Denai Guerrera takes over as a Koye, who's staunchly loyal, but starting to question some of T'Challa's more unconventional practices. Lupita Nyong'o also stars as Nakia, who's part of the Dora Milaje, but is also a spy. We haven't forgotten about Angela Bassett, who stars as Ramonda, T'Challa's mother, who counsels the young king. We could go on forever about the star-studded cast, which also includes Forrest Whitaker, Sterling K. Brown, Florence Kasumba, and Daniel Kaluuya. But let's talk about the soundtrack, which Kendrick Lamar is overseeing. The Grammy winner just released the amazing lead single, All Stars, which also features SZA. Looks like Vince Staples' bag back sending a chill down your spine was only the beginning. Those are all the royal proclamations we have for now. Black Panther hits theaters February 16th, just three months before the big showdown in Infinity War. <laughs>